Okay, so we've got a boss coming up next. Up there, anyway. Hey, that's nice work, analysis. analysis. Um, I'm just gonna clear up before I go there. There's definitely some places I've missed as well, so I want to do that side mission. Go check out that other pathway. Um, I don't know, like save point around here. Maybe it's when we go up. Oh, what's this place? This ladder should make getting around easier. That makes it easier to get up and down. Oh really? Does the ladder make it easier to get up and down? It's a big help. After all, that is the duty with which I have hey, that's... It is my reason to be. Uh, oh, yeah. That might be that ledge. Um. Anyway, how many? So many different paths down here. Get all these guys before they kill me. Ah, I appreciate it. Wanna be safe no here? Oh. Oh. Pick up something we can use. Titanium. Is ordered a new ladder. No sweating through here. That's ordered. Great. This is massive. Finished them off. Um, let's tell this guy. Oh, come on, man. So many pathways. Time to head on up. Yeah, this is definitely somewhere I've been before. There's a guy down here. Lost right now. Uh -huh. Oh, you're not actually. It's open. Please, us back to the start. We picked everything up, so we can just go. No harm in being prepared. Up here, and this this thing in. They've lost themselves. 
They're still guarding this place. Be careful of walls next to bodies, okay? <laughs> I don't answer that. I'm just waiting for me. How is this? That was nice of those guys to wait. Many of these guys. Oh, it's got buddies as well. on Boar Parasite compatibility. Back then, we needed cooperation from Revenants with high compat- Around that time, we got a report about a girl who- Her name was Cruz Silva. Gregorio Silva's daughter. The person who would later become the queen. Silva is a parent. No parent would want their child to be the subject of it. But Cruz was adamant. She wanted to save people. And so she volunteered for the research. Her compatibility made everything go smoothly. Many advances that were made still help us today. But then, she frenzied. My word. These are written directives from Operation Queenslayer. When Silva was still human, he told me to follow them if something happened to him. When Silva died during the Queen's frenzy, we turned him into a revenant as quickly as we... He awakened immediately and set out to eliminate her. To me, it seemed like he cast aside all his personal feelings toward his daughter at that moment. Do you find it strange for a human to be here? Silva unequivocally told me that I mustn't become a Revenant. He said that if Revenants couldn't resolve the situation, then a human point of view. <laughs> I never thought that would come to pass, though. I was expecting to live out my remaining days in peace. Life does take unexpected. Thank you. This is a survey report on Silva turned himself into a successor. He used his power to create the most important reason to maintain the Red Mist is to ensure the Queen's powers. However, Silva continually expends a great deal of energy to do us. The levy system was put into place in order to ensure the blood that he requires. The Red Mist, the levy system, and his research. Silva has done all of this for the sake of revenue. Uh, cool. Thank you again. I intend to analyze all the information Silva is on the verge of. I have to come up with a plan to bring us. I hate to impose on your good nature. But if it is pop, I got him. Well, that's gonna be boss fight. Um, all right. I need to try and. I want to get back to that door. The door that I missed. There is one down here. I don't really want to run all the way back down there. Um. Too far down here. 
Although these bitches absolutely hate. I think it, yeah, but well, it looks like I've already been down here anyway. That path? Yeah, this takes us back to the start. Ah, I appreciate it. Probably on a lower level, actually. been down here. Wow. Very good eye. Okay, but this is also the way back here. Ordered a new ladder. Where have I been now? That's a pathetic disguise. Okay. <laughs> That's actually going for this guy. The map of the deaths. Let's take okay. it to Davis. Oh. Uh, depths map. Hold on. I'm on my way. Yes, I've been down this area. It's a big help. There's still like one or two places I haven't been because the map's still not. Ah! I don't know if there's anything ah! apart from death down here. <laughs> So like that guy is just gone completely. So I don't have to re kill that guy every time. Still that area there. Um the locked door down here on the other side Sorry. of this this bit. Moving up. Kill this big guy. Big help. Oh, it's him again.
I'm pretty sure <laughs> it seems like bad gameplay, but I'm pretty sure there's a slight uh, lag. Because I'm not going through directly to the TV, it's going into my PC then through a program and then projects it off that program. I reckon there's like a little, a slight delay from that. Got no heals left. I've got one heal. Yeah, let's drop down here. Hey, that's your blood. Pretty sure oh, these give like four heals that? as well. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That as well. There's still places that I haven't been to yet. But I really need to heal up. Have a look at the map. See if we can find anything. Um. There's a lot of that all of the around here, so there's a... Then there's an area that I just don't know where. Like I've been all around there. It's not in that bit. What's it with like here? Either below or above. You seem pretty energetic. Just don't pass out later, okay? Uh, and on this side as well. Hold on. I'm on my way. Yeah, we just kill that guy through there. It's still this door. No? No good. I thought I had been everywhere. Anywhere down here, it doesn't look like there's anywhere around this point. Um, that I've missed. No, nope, I think that was probably it. You are too hard to work with. Uh, let's carry on. Us have to do the story. I've been waiting for you. <sighs> Spin a thread of memory for me. Um, this is all the EOS vestiges. I've missed one. What the hell? Vestige part C. Uh, so there's no point in doing it just yet. I need part C. Going down. Oh, we're going deep down. Jesus. Long way down. Is that gonna spring up, Polly? Cannot understand. The what? actions you've chosen to take, they can bring nothing but further disaster to this land. I cannot allow that mistake to repeat itself a second time. 
stand by their side and attend to them. That is enough. It is the duty with which we have all been entrusted. If you lose your way, if you take one false step, it will lead to that same result. Let us be off. The two of us have our own duty to fulfill. Head up, eyes open. I really want to find that part C now. So I can get that. Come on, Sorry, because we move. Yeah, let's just open this. We're in the deepest depths now. Gale of the stagnant blood. There is a safe. There's a lake of blood down there. Went straight past that. Here's a good place to rest. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's going to be much in this map. This is going to be the, the big guy. Definitely a boss fight there. Um, and there is something that I've missed. I think it might be here. Maybe not here. Let's go. <laughs> Go back down here. Um, I think it's in the walkway. Look around here. Get my printer as well. They're here. Oh, I think it's here. Hey, that's he asked for such a part city. There we go. Um, <laughs> you are too hard to work. Okay, with. so now we've got all those parts, we can head back uh, and just go through that hole. Uh, sorry, that's a lot of vestiges to saw, but I kind of need to know that part of the sto story up till what other boss. But I'm getting these pop ups uh, to install my printer. Um, there's a new PC, so I've just got to set everything back up again. Um, okay, let's. Teleport back to home base actually and do some upgrades because I haven't done that in a while. God, I'm just getting bombarded with stuff to print out for the little one from my partner at the minute. Somebody's getting bored. Um. Okay. I know it's only been a short time since we met, but it feels like we've been together a long time. I know what I have to do. I'll watch your back. Let me know. It. Cool. Um. Go here. Wonderful. What had I thought it. If we're gonna upgrade equipment, upgrade what do you weapon. Upgrade? Um, I kind of, I was kind of using that a little bit, but this seems to be like the best weapon for me. I do like using this. We tear this up. This is being dexterity. We've got some fungs, fungsten. 
It's only a slight upgrade. Hey oh, man, upgrade it. Um, that's plus ten. Job done. I mean, like there are going to be some better weapons, and I haven't even looked at the weapons since we've uh, got some new ones. Let's just see if there's any. Make sure you get back safe. Just see if there's any new weapons. Actually, I might have missed out. Something there. Um. They get some like really interesting ones like this. Blazing Claw. Um. What else we got? We're just looking for decks at the minute. Uh, Hanamakuro. So anything A or B plus. So Ice Blood. And Blazing Claw. Kind of like the, the idea of that, and they're both like opposite. Kind of. One's bind, one's willpower. And one's fire, one's ice. I wonder if there's like a lightning version. Um. Anything else? There's this. Uh, Assassin Sickle. So there is Argent Wolf Olex. Okay. Be nice for a heavy. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the gun weapons. Yeah, we've got a blazing claw we could go up. Or oh, probably like both of these two. They might be nice to have. Just just to have around, especially while we're on decks at the minute. Um but we'll see, we'll see how much we got. And then we've got this. I guess I'm just gonna carry on using this one. Just a normal night claw. That's uh, only got one level to go up. Don't for um, although I could transform. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? This one. Wondering, like transform equipment, transform blood Which veil. Which blood veil do you want to transform? We can transform it to any of these. It's still going to be plus ten. Slightly different properties. Uh, that's probably like just the upgrade. We do need the chrome though. I don't think I've got many of those. Um, or we can see if there's anything different to have. Do not. It would just plus ten. Which weapon do you want to transform? Uh, I guess the other part to it is as well, if we're doing weapons, like since we've got this up, we've got a, a fire one and an ice one, we could just uh, swap this one to a, a electric weapon. They're just going to have like lightning on there permanently. And we do have some ISIS. I could just like swap out whichever one to have. So I'm actually going to bring this up. We'll see what this is like. It looks kind of nice as well. I don't know how far I can take it up. But that far. <laughs> well, getting them up. Um, I'll save that until I've next got a load of uh, stuff to play with. Okay. Some upgrades. So. You can make other people's power your own by taking on their blood codes. Interesting. You'll need strength for the battles ahead. Indeed. I'll lend you mine. Nice. Take it. What does Jack give us? Well, obviously his blood code, but... Uh, Hemdal. Owner Jack Rutherford. Specializes in highly aggressive melee combat, but it's weight Allowance is extremely low. Cool. I think we got what else is. There's Mia. There's. I hope that a day will come when humans and revenants can work together and join hands in fellowship. I'm sure it will take a very long time, assuming it ever does, but still, it's one. Yeah, it definitely did. What does she have though? 
can we get, oh, we can get a Liberate. Libertador. Libertador. Is that fire seeking bullets? The loss of the mist invites total ruin. We that means we can get um axe weapon. Now I must use me as you Executioner. Favoured sword of Jack, the Crypt Watcher. Finely sharpened blade shows no sign of wear, and a single lunge with at least fatal wounds. Its history is unknown, but is likely custom, a custom version of the weapons used by the hunters in black. And the carrot has been given speaks volumes about this uh, secretive watcher. Please. The situation is constantly changing. We need to hurry. A is. I think I've got a few capsules. Board. Five thousand. Don't forget. What do you want to upgrade? Make sure you get back safe. Hey, though. That's a bit better. Don't. What do you want to upgrade? Oh, let's take it to ten. And this one is our ice blood. I think we're gonna get this one to. Okay, I need seven. Um. Which blood veil do you want to up? Well, transform. Which weapon do you want to transform? This has already got fire on it. Can we change more fire? Plus yes, that's a plus twenty fire and a plus fifty resistance to fire. Down. Make sure you get back safe. Okay, let's teleport. Let's find this last area. Actually, got some more. Take care. This is all we've got for available routes. Ah, so Misty Ruins and Void Districts. Please take care of Silva. Okay. Necton Bridge. Um, let's go back here in case I missed anything out from this area. There's definitely another path that we can go. I haven't unlocked it all. Uh, see some of them weapons as well. Okay, let's get this task done. Boom. <clears throat> you aren't too hard to work with. Okay, <clears throat> this has definitely got to be something around here.
Pick up something we can use? Yeah, we've been all the way around that. <clears throat> it's not gonna be in this area. Where she uh, too far ahead. that thing attacked her. It's probably going to be hidden somewhere. They do have a lot of like hidden areas. This just brings us back to the hallway. So. Found it. That's a that What's this here? Careful. <clears throat> I want to see what, how much this does. No. <laughs> it lets me do it. Probably not. Shall we? Uh, GXL Defender plus. This is gonna be for. A uh, big strength build, I think. Uh, blood veil made of almond plating sure and, and treated fabric, highly go. resistant to elements. Oh. Sorry, <coughs> and mind. Okay, so this is not like. Must be in so with this weapon. Knows through here. Opened up. Ah, I appreciate it. Uh, I want the save a little. It's hard to tell with uh, Yakumo swinging his joint sword around. Um, okay, so this is going to be story time. I'm afraid, and there's a lot of them to go. Could run in these. 
salvation. An attendant can only find meaning in the pursuit of their mission. There can be no other life for them beyond the one they were made for. That sort of life. It seems like such an awkward, sad existence. If I had never met you, I think by now I would also be... Uh, let's find out. Allow me to take you to the successor. And so, with those words, I was taken to a facility. There I saw other attendants, lying in beds. All of them connected to machines. It appears to be a laboratory of some kind. However, no matter how desperately I search, I cannot find my successor anywhere. Still, I can feel it. It feels like my successor is so close. So that's uh, so that's Medo, right? Medo created all these um, attendants. A man named Medo, in the pursuit of his research, performed experiments on the other attendants and turned them all to ash. Even now, I can still feel my successor somewhere nearby. I have to keep searching for them. It is hard for me to move. But I must. I have a duty to ease the suffering of my successor. I must fulfill my duty. of oneself or others, wandering lost and directionless, hoping only for the safety and well-being of their successor. I was the same way. Even when another attendant attacked and came close to frenzy right before my eyes, even then, I could not break my focus. But I wonder, is that really how it should be? Understand. Why was she apologizing? The sin within us. What was she referring to? What could it be? 
that I have somehow managed to forget. <clears throat> oh, you are the blood queen. No, no, I cannot let myself fall here in this place. I must, I must find my successor. Uh, I must yeah. defend my successor. I have <clears throat> to go on. I reckon that's it. When we killed her, we absorbed some of her power. That's all she thinks we're Successful. Oh, she's drawn to us. I suppose many attendants must have met the same fate. Struggling to be with their successors, but turned to ash without ever meeting them. And it could have been the same for me. If I had made one mistake, I would have been doomed as well. The attendants, they could only live in accordance with their mission. It's possible they might have been able to survive if they had only chosen another way. Forgive me, my successor. I promised that I would defend you as your attendant. It was my duty, but I could not prevent your frenzy. In the end, I failed you. I could do nothing more than watch as your death finally came for you. Why was I even here? What purpose did I serve? That's Nicholas one. <laughs> this attendant lost their successor to frenzy and then succumbed to it themselves. the ones we've been charged to protect then does our presence serve any purpose as attendants what good do we do Uh, is this back to the same location? If I am able to ease your suffering, even if it is only by the smallest amount, then I would gladly sacrifice myself to do so. After all, that is the duty with which I have been entrusted. It is my reason to be. I made this run a little bit faster. Is it really meant to be this way? Do all attendants have to sacrifice their lives for the sake of their successors? It does not seem right. But could it be that I'm mistaken? Boss time. This elevator is safe, right? I've been waiting. Please spin a thread of memory for me. Oh man, come on. 
<laughs> Love a, uh, take a while. Down. Plus we're quick with it. Gross. It's a lake of blood down there. <laughs> 